Hello and Merry Christmas and welcome to Furry Ears World on this festive Yuletide morn. And um, I thought as my Christmas present to you this year, I would give you a quick tour of maybe one or two, maybe one or two of my early Minecraft worlds. And this one here, this, this, what you're standing in here is the very first house I ever built once I got hold of Minecraft. I believe this could be the wrong world. It might be the right world, it might be the wrong world, I'm not entirely sure, but this this is certainly the first house I built. I'm not sure whether this is the right version of the world though. But we will go and have a look outside. Um I'm not entirely convinced we'll live through this. Um but let's have a little butchers. So we 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 created a world. Uh apparently we have spiders in it. And a sheep. Where's that damn spider? There he is. Okay, let's get rid of the spider. So this is this is the first house. First first house furry ears ever built. Is near the beauty. It's, it's got it's got doors and windows and, and everything. It's fabulous. And then, then we built ourselves a sugarcane farm and we appear to be in a snow biome. Uh, I think that's a product of the conversion. Uh, I suspect that's actually, it wasn't an originally a snow biome. Yeah, the water's freezing as I talk to you. Here's one of our dogs. Hey dog. Hey dog. You're not interested, are you? You're not interested. Dog's not interested. This is our, our natural harbour that we built. Uh, the water looks to be remarkably placid, so I'm not quite sure what's gone on there. I know I messed it right up. It's a bit messed up over here. But yes, definitely, definitely a snow biome. Everything's freezing up nicely. Uh, and I seem to recall when we first came into this world, we, we oh hello, skeleton over here. We built a, a cave over here, or we dug a mine over here. But this is, this is, this is what we did when we first came into Minecraft. Oh yes, storage. Diamonds, look at that, look at that, I got diamonds. I got, I got train tracks. I got more cobblestone, dirt, cobblestone, mushrooms. I got all the oh my god, look how many tracks I've got. I must have been building something complicated. I wonder what it could have been. So a long time ago. I'd like you I'd like you to be aware of that. This is 1.8 Minecraft. Way, way back when. Was there any food in those chests? Oh, look at all this. Look at all this shizzle whizzle. And look at this. This was our mine. This is where we dug all our stuff out. Holy hell. And we made, apparently, a nightmare. We got any anything on us that could theoretically just block that up? Because that was a bit of a bit of a hole in the ground that we don't want to. Now I can't remember where all of these go. Hmm. I think we'll go with this one first. No, we'll go with this one. We'll go in the order that we found them. So we give that a push. And we're off. I don't know how well these uh, booster tracks and things will work. It's been a while since I've used it. They seem to have converted quite well, though. Oh, we're going up. We're going up. Oh, we built a complicated little thing here, haven't we? I wonder where this one goes. Hey, we're there. Minecart out. Excellent news. Pick that up. Uh, so this is my this is my uh, sort of jungle retreat type thing. Oh, it's got stairs in it. Nice. This was where I think I think it was some sort of mountainside hotel type thing we were going for. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, it's built on the side of a mountain. You can't actually see much of that from uh, up here, but I can I can show you when we get back down on the ground. Uh, the little house we were in previously is just down there. That was my experiments with lava, and down there is my experiments with water leaking all over the damn place. I believe that's the single source block for all of that flows down there to the sea. Um, probably won't flow for much longer given the uh, 
And I think there's lava along the edge of the roof up there to stop things from jumping onto the balcony. That was the plan anyway. Ooh, got more water flowing over there. We have made a jolly old mess, haven't we? But this is this is this is my uh I think this is the last thing I built in this world. Um I don't think we built much after this. Certainly that that hell in a handcart quarry that we just uh, saw was uh, one of the first things we worked on. Um, I don't ever remember it being that dangerous. Because that was a dangerous hole in the ground just then. I know it wasn't much fun ever, but I don't ever remember it being that bad. Okay, so we're here. And we're getting hungry and we're starving to death. So, next track along. Give that a shove, hop in, and off we go. Not sure where this one goes. I know where I know where all three of them go, but I don't know which one's which. As I say, it's been a mighty long time since I visited this world. But at least like it looks like everything's in place. Because I know there were three tracks. This one's quite a long one. This one's quite a doozy. This one might be the really long one. Took a while digging all this. That's why we have so much cobblestone knocking around. It was all kind of build an area in the world and then work out how to get a minecart from A to B. Oh, looks like we're getting towards the end of it. And we're going uphill. Hmm. Is this is this number three or is this number two? I think this might be number two. No, this is number three. I think this is number three. Yeah. Yeah, I know where we're going. I know where we're going. All a bit twisty, turny, windy. Here we are. This is my. This one took forever to build. This was a natural mountain, and we just cut the side off it and replaced each block of the edge of the side with glass. It was a work of art. Is there any food? Yes there is. And bread now stacks. When I first did this, bread, she didn't stack so much. Because we need bread. There's a skeleton around somewhere as well, I can hear him. But we had a nice old wheat farm going here. Uh, and a bit of a lava defense to protect us around the edges. Don't know why we did that. I can't remember for the life of me why we did that. But this is my wheat farm. Never quite finished it by the looks of it. My my infinite water supply coming trickling down. And I think upstairs again, we were going for the hotel motif. Yep. Yep, bedrooms. But bedrooms with a view. Oh, God. Me headphones cables getting in the way. Bedrooms with a view. You can view out through the side of your glass mountain. Spectacular, isn't it? Isn't it though? Oh, just got an itchy eye. Bear with me. Ah, and then turn around, and it does. It was just, a, it was just a whole mountainside thing going on. I was quite pleased with it. Uh, chests full of junk that we have amassed. Uh, ooh, nice little. Yeah, I remember doing this bit last. It was fiddly. There was a lot going on around there. But it was, it was used, we used a lot of glass, hence why we've got a lot of furnaces knocking around. And you usually get quite a lot of mobs in here as well. I don't know why, but you do. And then the top floor, just a, just a balcony. Uh, more, more views of the, the great glass mountain that we built. And then we go up to the, the watchtower. And from the watchtower... We have this this path that just ends. There's the glass mountain. All the way down there. Over there is our underwater city that we started building. And should be along here. And it doesn't look like it's in this version of the world. Oh, there's our, our another watchtower that we had. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's not in this version. There was... It must be in the other version. I'll have to check. I can't get up these stairs. There was a big, big ass tower down here somewhere, but it looks like we uh, we haven't got that in this version. 
Uh, what we need to do now to get around in this place is... Bear with me. Open to LAN. Allow cheats on. Start LAN world. Slash. Game. Mood. One. There we go. Now we can fly. And we can... No. No, it's time set, isn't it? Hey, morning. And we've been digging out a lot of sand because this thing, this thing here, this underworld sort of city that we built, took a lot of sand. And we should just be able to get into it by swimming down here, I believe. There we go. Here we go. We're in. Now we got a nice bit of sugar cane growing by the side of it all, just to just to bling the place up a bit. So in here we had the the sort of town square type affair, and I still at this point had not perfected how to sort water out. Uh, we went nuts on the bricks because bricks were new. So we built we built a, another hotel motif with a tree shoehorned into it. It's a bit a bit surreal, but. I think this was all still a work in progress around the back. I can't remember where we were up to with this, but I know we never finished it. Um, but it was it was my it took it took some effort getting this dry in here. Uh, up here we have I believe that was going to be the, the, the storeroom for the mines, and then down here should be deep mine. Yeah. And so it was going to be sort of utilitarian around the outside and then more sort of villagey type feel in the middle. Over here we got the workshop where we've got all of... Okay, I did get a lot of diamonds out of this world. I did indeed. So this is where we kept all the stuff while we were working on uh, our, little, our little village. Here's our wheat farm. Uh, town food supply. And over here, pig and whistle. So this is the boozer. And in the boozer, we have milk and cooked pork chops, which we will have, I believe, because they now stack. And better that I have them here than there's a bit, bit of a bit of a lousy pub, I have to say. But what can you do? Back in the days when food didn't stack. Over in that corner up there was going to be where the church would be, but never quite got round to that bit. Uh, this is this is the, the, the basically the mayor's house. This was going to be my house in the in the underwater city. Uh, double bed, nice double bed there. Obviously, I was expecting company. Uh, block of soil, because I just like jumping off the balcony and taking no damage because I'm in. Survival mode, first rate, and then there we can. Yep, clearly the conversion didn't sort the doors out properly. Up we go, and we'll just swoop quickly round here and show you the aspect of the glass mountain. As you can see, we just cut the side right off the mountain, and each block got painstakingly replaced with a block of glass. And it's just whiz bang, Fabio Dudars, and as I say, originally. In one of these versions of this world, I'm not sure which, there's a huge tower down here. But this just, this just, woo, let's go this way. This just leads us on, as things do, up to our watchtower, where we just, this is where I learned my, my, my whole nine block stairs trick. This is where I perfected my art of the nine block stairs trick, which just sends you do dad loopy Batty with the dizziness. There's a technical term there. Uh, it's quite painstakingly long and arduous. Uh, it's just a big glass box, which we are not going to be proud about. We're just going to punch our way out and head on down the path. This this old here, nothing to do with me. Just ignore it. Moving on. I mean, I'm the only one that's ever played on this world, so some aspects of it are just strange. I mean, it's a long time since I played on this world, and there. Up ahead, we have our, our first ever. This was a basic rip-off of Quantonium. I saw him build one of these, and I wanted one. But it's a nice, nice upside-down pyramidal, 
pyramidal tower. Uh, we've got a nice glade of trees you can actually get, I think, from inside this glade of trees. You can get into the tower. The tower takes you up to the top. And you can walk around the, the battlements of the tower. It's all mod cons. Each tower is identical, I think, in this one. I believe that's the way I did it. Down there, you can't actually... So oh, you can just about make it out. There's the little wooden shack we just started recording this in. Uh, here, clearly, the extent of the uh, ice biome. And then down here, we have our wheat garden. Everywhere has wheat gardens. We were we were just wheat terrific up here. I believe we have just for no apparent reason lava. It was actually for light at one point. It was we we were working by la lava light up here. Uh, chests again, full of oh god, bread that doesn't stack. Um, obviously, when I put the lava in here, it didn't drip through the rocks because that's just that's just gunging the place up a bit. Uh, then here we have another minecart track, and this comes back should take us back to number three on our on our list of in the basement type area. Ooh, look at this going down, going into the water, going into the water. Scary, 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 scary. Uh, down, and yeah, this takes us into into that same basement area. And this is this is the number three track or the number two track. I think this is number two. I think that got built. No, this was number one. This was the first one built. Then I built number two, and then I built number three. The, the sort of balcony house thing was uh, number three. Punch. Oop. Oop. Something just... Oh, I'm in creative, aren't I? Yeah, that's right. So I should be able to go in here with some impunity now. So this was my whole mining escapade. A uh, lot of digging out in here. And quite a bit of experimentation with TNT as well. And also quite a bit with... Um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, mapping. Not mapping. World editing. Because as you will see, somewhere around here, I believe... Yay! Diamonds for days. We just put loads of diamonds in here. We just went nuts with the diamonds. There was there was this this whole area. That's probably where I got all my diamonds from, isn't it? I just went nuts with the diamonds. Creepers for days. It is a dangerous little hole we built here. I don't remember this. Certainly not torch lit. Creepers. More creepers. So I think there was water around here somewhere. It rings a bell. It all rings a bell. But this was this was my mining. All this was. Hewn from the ground by my very hands. And then we go back up. So we spent ages on this world, to be honest with you. Ages mining. But then we were we were basically just replicating Quantonium and he spent a long time on his world, so it seemed only right that get out of the way. Get on the stairs. What are you just loitering with intent for? So that's, that's, this is, this is and was, and probably always will be the first world I ever played in Minecraft. Nice little wheat farm there that usually fills up with sheep, which is why it's not very effective wheat farm. And there was the balcony house. Just smeared on the side of the mountain. Uh, it looks like we didn't get round, oh yeah we did, we did get round to placing the lava on top. So that was that was it for this world. Uh, I'd like to show you that that big tower that I thought was in this world, but I'm not sure where that is. So I will just try. I'll be right back while I try and look for the right version of the world. Back in a moment. Well, this was this was my backup version, and uh, it's not here either. So I'm not entirely sure where the hell that is. I seem to recall it was a multiplayer version, but I was the only one that ever played on it. So it may be that I used this world on one of my multiplayer servers. I'll have to check those and see whether it's there. But that will take a while, so it won't be in this version. But I will hopefully get to show you that at some point. 
I don't know for sure. Just vandalizing everything. I think this one is basically identical to the last one. Just hooliganing it up. But uh, I will try quickly one more and just see if it's there. Back shortly. Alrighty then, could not find the world with the big tower in. I'm fairly sure I was running it on a multiplayer server, so it, it, it's probably sitting on one of my servers somewhere, so I'll have to dig around for that one. And maybe in the future I can show you that one, but, but for now, moving on apace, as we must, as we must. Uh, another bed, another bed means another world. And this one, no peeking out the windows. There's no windows in the glass, there's no glass in the windows, you see here. These windows, they have no glass in, and there's not a lot to see out there, so we must be in Skyblock land. We have windows, very drafty windows, and we are in Skyblock land. The wonders of it all. This world, doing of, the doing of this world, was inspired by sparkles. Good old Captain Sparkles. And we got chests full of crap, as per usual. Saplings for days, because we have tree farms. So this was my first ever attempt at a skyblock. And here's my melon farms. Uh, there's my frozen water because clearly we're in a snow biome and I've just broken through the floor. Uh, my cactus farm. All, all well and good. My cobblestone generator here. My, my first generation cobblestone generator, no less. And... And yeah, this is this is the first generation. This is this is uh, broken now. Apparently, apparently I I broken that. I'm just gonna stop touching things because apparently I'm breaking them. Uh, I think this one realistically meets as many rules as I was going to meet. This was originally just a very thin path out to where all the mobs fall and die. There's not a lot of mobs falling, mind you. I mean. Should still get mob. There we go. There we go. That's always a pleasing sight. This is a, just a, a sparkle special mob grinder up here. This is if ever I need to have a, a, a means to drop mobs from a great height or get them to spawn, and this is this is what we go for. See, it's just a jamboree up here. A cavalcade of joy. Just wick the spider off and let him fall to his death. There he goes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's best not to annoy people up here as the skeletons will start shooting the creepers, the creepers will start exploding. They look so happy and peaceful and then they just plunge to their deaths. But yeah, this, this, this does a reasonable good job of spawning stuff in. But this was take one. And I found it awkward. <laughs> Look at all these spinny, mo those spinny drops. I do like the spinny drops. Very cool. But I found it very, very awkward to get out here and uh, actually collect this stuff because the skeletons do shoot at you as they uh, as they die, as they fall. And uh, that can, can make life very unpleasant. So I needed a safer way. I needed to improve on Sparkle's design. So this is take two over here. And uh, I did a bit of research, and I found that you can drown everything. So, bonus, we drown everything. And this is where we store everything. So we got bones. We got gunpowder. We got arrows. We got string. A lot of string, actually. We got rotten flesh. So this is our, this is our mob drop storage. Does it even say that? Mob storage. So this was take two, and everything just comes out either here, or here. And they're all, as you can see, happily drowning away in there. So this, this even gets you your spiders. There's string in there somewhere. Yeah, there is this string there. So this, this bad boy even gets you your spiders. Had some trouble, I can tell you, getting this water flow right. Uh, there are ways and means of doing it, but I had to faff around and finally got it sorted. Well, they even spin in the water stream, isn't that cool? Um, and then, what else did we build here? We had a requirement for this smooth stone house. We needed a, a stone brick house, so we built this thing up here. I could take you up the stairs, but you've seen stairs before. And this was just my hunting ground. Just get my bow and arrow, come up here and have some 
have some high old time with a bow and arrow. You can even do it from in bed. It's like it's like gaming from in your bedroom. Uh, bookcases, obviously. Everywhere needs bookcases. Then we go down the cobbly cobble stairs. Again, on the, the, the motif of rotating rotating in a 9x9 nine nine square, which we, we adopted in, in the last world, as you see. And again, the farm and our, our Esplanade O Pumpkin. And we needed a, a, a pond for fishing in. Um, I think it was during some part around here that, that the whole thing was moved into a into a snow biome. So, hence why we ended up kind of kind of with ice on the water. Um, and then I was probably trying to sort the problem out over here when it all went horribly wrong. But yeah, that's our little lake. Uh, fishing rods for fishing, which you can't do. And then uh, we needed wool, so I couldn't think what else to do with the wool. We needed ten of each colour, so I just built an ugly, ugly striped totem of joy there. Um, got ca got a little carried away, but it, it, it does... Oh, mouse reset. It does the job. And we got the lake house, because obviously we got the lake and the tree. And this actually did spawn in some animals with that pokey bit of grass there which we'd had to train all the way out here which is cool uh, this should be fish fishville yes it is fishville cooked fishville doors again haven't converted properly and then we needed mushrooms so we built our mushroom house we grew our big big mushrooms you can't do that now you cannot you cannot do these now and then we built our stairs and again with the 3x3 three three motif, but then I realised you could do that with mushrooms, so that's pretty cool. We could use the mushroom as a 3x3 three three housing for our stairs, which was fabulous. So this is our, our mushroom house, where we have mushroom stew. And we have our bedroom, which doesn't have a bed in anymore. I'm sure I put a bed in that. So this is this is this is my first ever attempt at the skyblock. I mean, it worked. It, everything everything here works. Everything here is as it should be. Uh, there's now two jets of water pouring out of there that shouldn't be. But yeah, this was my this was my skyblock world. I'm quite pleased with this one. I spent a long long time at the cobblestone generator to get this bad boy built. I mean, you see people doing the whole skyblock thing and they just do it in a tiny little pooky area obviously you need to go out 20 24 blocks to get this this thing going or something but this this whole sort of spread out affair just took so long to build so much cobblestone but then i'm kind of obsessing about cobblestone building i do i do do that sometimes oh there goes a the spider did i put torches on top of this thing yeah i did yeah, I did. So this is this is my skyblock thing. So uh, I'm not sure what's next, but let us see. So this is what was next in the list of worlds. Uh, I'm not really sure. As you can tell, we're on top of another mob spawner. I'm not really sure what purpose this world served. Um, I was just messing around. Uh, we've got two greenhouses. One that's not automatic. I think that was the first one I built, and then then we've got the old automatic one uh, up here. Um, was it was it a vague attempt at a a mob trapment type thing? The basic idea was mobs would just spawn on this, walk into the water. Uh, the whole thing. Animals we could happily stroll into the land, and then they'd all be drowned and killed. And I don't really know what I was trying to trying to achieve, but it was it was not successful. Uh, two chickens and a sheep. It's it's not it's not what you call a bumper harvest, but it it, it was a sort of vague rambling idea. Uh, this was all nice still water until I came along. This was my sort of pumpkin type thing. Not really sure what that was all about. Uh, then we have the the old uh, Wito Farmo. Um, I think it's triggered somewhere else. It's all it's all ready for harvesting, so we can go do that now. Uh, use sticky pistons for the first time in this bad boy. See at the back, it all looks like cobblestone, but it's actually sticky pistons retaining water. All done from in here. Uh, sugar cane, obviously for days. Probably I was making books. I don't really know. 
Uh, and it all kind of... Good lord. It was a fertile world, this one. Uh, it all kind of coalesces back down into here. Uh, we've got a cactus farm out there somewhere. Shunting stuff. This is where I gather. I, I, I got my first taste for hoarding stuff. Those mob traps, they, they drop out here. These are the these are the goodies from the mob trap over here. I believe this switch does the wheat farm. Um, you flick it, and then you just wait, apparently, for days at a time. Um, there was something around this corner, but I don't know what. I seem to remember some sort of renegade chicken that lived down here. I don't know what that was all about. Oh, it looks like we dug down to... Oh, yes, I remember. I could hear zombies. And I was dying to know where they came from, so I just dug down and found them. And it was a zombie spawner. Uh, anything coming from there yet? Oh, yeah, here we go, look. So all the wheat and the chaff and the seeds all get happily washed down into here from that automatic. And when we go outside and have another look, it'll be empty. Devoid of all content. Plenty of saddles, just in case you ever needed to uh, have a saddle in Minecraft, which until recently you didn't, but then this version served no purpose with the saddle. Uh, nice little one block holes you can't actually get into there, so that's, that's just fantastic. It's just really awkward. Uh, turn that off. Always remember to turn that off. Uh, that's under the lake. That's a pile of crap coming out of there. You get chickens out of here. You, in fact, you get eggs out of here, don't you? Uh, that just goes down to a mine. Everyone's seen a mine in Minecraft. I don't need to show you mine. You don't need to see my mine. Never mind about my mine. And over here we have the cactus farm. Which is, as I say, all, all water motivated. There's a lump going down there now, look here. There's a chicken in there somewhere. Not sure. There, can you hear him? Yeah, he's down there somewhere, and he lays eggs, and they get caught up in the whole, in the whole flow of things. So this is this was my uh, cactus farm doing its do. There goes another block now. Um, not really sure what I was attempting out here. I'm sure I was going to have a purpose for all this, but it's all very well lit now. And then over here somewhere we had a. A marvellous mountain, and somewhere on the marvellous mountain I built something elaborate and pointless. All my caving exploits come up in these lumps of cobblestone that are all at sea out here. There it is. Something elaborate and pointless. A nice, a nice long jetty of wood and dirt leading out to some sort of fiery monocle that serves no real purpose purely purely there just to just to impress the natives show them our prowess keep them keep them on their feet on on, on their toes keep them scared it's always about scaring the natives and then we built our our little sea chateau i suppose I don't know, I wanted to use birch birch tree wood for something, so I, I built huge legs. And I, I kind of... I picture this as my Florida home, because we're, we're kind of swampy over there. So this is this is my kind of holiday, holiday Florida home. Somewhere somewhere near Orlando, I, I always think of it as. Uh, again, doors don't look like they've converted properly. Uh, we used art up here. We, we used art to try and soothe the savage... No, it's not going to soothe anything. They're crap. Uh, you can come out here onto the balcony. And I thought from the balcony, you get on the roof. There must be a higher balcony. There is a higher balcony. Up the stairs again. Yeah, there's a higher balcony. And from the higher balcony, you can just hoik up onto the roof. Over the top and onto... onto the, that's where we sleep. Which is just basically the other side of the balcony. You can, once you've come up the stairs... Uh, more, more, I'm going to say art, but, you know, I'm not, 
Wow, that's a puppy from a long way away. Apparently this art is best viewed from the other side of the map. Fair enough. So this was this was where we, we, we sort of ended up in this world. Um, we sort of ended up with views over over our estates, our paddy fields of of something or other here that I don't really know what purpose they were designed to serve. I'm sure if I took all these torches out I'd get a whole lot more hostile mobs pouring in, but really not that bothered. Uh, this was all covered in trees. All of this was, was trees as far as the eye could see, but that thing took a fair amount of wood. So the trees as far as the eye could see had to go. They couldn't stay, they had to go. And as you can obviously tell, this was first night house here. Half brick, half wood. All crap. And then we got our melon farm in here. So that's it, really. That's 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 concludes the tour of the Minecraft worlds that I still have available. The old stuff that I still have available. I think there's a few that I've shunted onto multiplayer servers, but generally, that's it. Um, hours of fun, hours and hours of fun. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this little little Christmas gift to you from me, and I shall say, from Furrier's world, Merry Christmas. And uh, Happy New Year. Ta-ta.